everybody and today I'm going to be showing you how to multiply numbers, oh wow, ah, that, that spelling is really bad, okay, how to multiply numbers whose n digits add to 20, 30, 40, 50 or 60. I, the, the title actually sucks, so just ignore the title, it's the worst title ever, but um, okay, so let's, let's I get started. Um, so, for example, what, what I mean by n digits adding to 20, 30, 40 is, for example, you could have 230 times 204, oh, no, not 40, let's do 210. So these n parts, they add up to 40. So, yeah, they add up to 40. And another thing is the, the first part of the number, so everything except the two digits at the end, first half have to be the have to be the same. So for example, it can't be two ten times three thirty. I mean, even though these two add up to forty, these two are not the are not the same. All right. So now let's just do this equation because I've already written it down. So two thirty times 210. The first thing you have to do is you have to, so the first digits of, so just ignoring, so there is the, the, the number bit and the adding bit, okay? I'm just going to call this the number bit and the, this is the, like, I don't know, I'm just going to call this the first part and this is the second part, okay? So that's the first part, that's the second part. Alright, so now we have to get the first part of both of them, which will be the same, and we have to multiply them together, so 2 times 2. And then draw like a little slash thing, right? Draw like a little slash thing. Alright, um, next what you have to do is you have to do that number again, the starting number, times whatever these two add up to. So this and that add up to 40. Uh, sorry, sorry, yeah, 40, but you have to take away the zero, because you just, yeah, yeah, you just take away the zero, okay? And then you put a slash, and then what we have to do is multiply these two digits together. So you have to do 30 times 10. Okay, now that is very hard to remember, but it, it makes the calculating it a lot easier. So, I mean, it's just the same two numbers times together and then that number times whatever these two add up to minus the zero and then the end to the second parts multiplying by each other so now if we do that equals four slash eight slash 300 so the answer would to that would be 48,300 now if there was more than one digit here so, for example, let's say there was 18 here, then you would send this one over here, and it would become 5, 8, 300. And so, and so, like, that part can only have one digit. Okay. And if, and this part, okay, this part only has, no, what was that arrow? Okay, this part only has one digit. This part has three digits. So this part, the last part can only have three digits. Um, if it has less, then just put a zero at the start. For example, if you had to write 21 in there, um, you just put a zero in front of it, and then it will be slash eight slash four, whatever. So you just put a zero if there's not enough digits. But if there's too many digits, for example, if there's one twenty one twenty one, then you'd, oh, sorry, that's one one two one. Then what you would just do is move this one over there. So then it would be 4, and then 1 plus 8 is 9, and then 121. So this 2, 1, okay. Yeah, you, you, you get it. And it's it's the same thing for, so this was adding up to 40. Right here, the that plus that is equal to 40. Um, but it can also, and the, the same thing applies to 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. So that's basically it for this video. And oh, and just to make sure that was the answer to that question and that question. 
Alright, so if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button, which is right down there, as well as the subscribe button, which is right next to it. And goodbye, see you in my next video.